Hey everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we are doing some party hairstyles. Oh my goodness, it is finally that time of year. I love holiday season because I love being extra with my hair and it is a great chance to do so. So I thought today we could go over some cute waves, some half updos, some updos, some stuff with accessories, cover all the bases and keep it easy because everything's busy at the holiday time. You've got to shop for stuff. You've got to go to 5,000 parties. You've still got to work somehow in all of that. It's a lot. So we're going to keep it easy, going to keep it cute and keep it quick. If you guys are also excited for the holidays, don't forget to hit that like button because it helps support my channel. And you know, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also want to say thank you to Tangle Teaser for sponsoring today's video. We are featuring their ultimate finishing brush, which I have quickly fallen in love with because it teases, it smooths, it helps to brush out curls. It does everything in one brush. So I'm excited to show you guys that in action, but even more importantly, to show you guys some great hairstyles. Let's get into it. So first things first, I thought it would be fun to focus on a hairstyle that is down and waved and include some extensions in the process because I feel like if you're not breaking out your hair extensions for holiday parties, when are you doing it? If you have them. If you don't, just use this on your natural hair. Okay, let's do it. First things first, I have the Bumble and Bubble Glow Thermal Protection Mist. I've been really liking this. It smooths, it helps to rebuild bonds in your hair, and it smells great. And then we're gonna apply heat protectant to our extensions as well because we wanna keep them happy and healthy and looking cute for a long time. Just gonna go ahead and use my Tangle Teaser Ultimate Finisher to brush that through. It's so now obviously these are still curled from the last time that I wore them, but we are going to recurl them again today so that all the hair melds together naturally. Okay, now I have a whole video on how I apply hair extensions to my short hair, so I'm going to link that above for you to check out if you want. I'm going to go ahead and go through those steps. I'll touch on it just a little bit as I go. First things first, I got to braid over my ears and at the nape of my hair. Well, that was not entirely intentional, but it's quite cute. Let's keep going. Essentially, the reason why we kind of get rid of this section of hair is so that we don't have that telltale giveaway of the really, really short layers. Just wanna get them out of the way because once we do that and we add in long pieces at the nape of the neck, everything else that's short can just be passed off as layers. But if you have a big chunk of short hair at the nape of your neck, that's just a dead giveaway. Alrighty. So this is a Luke. This is not the Luke we're finishing with, but let's just appreciate the baby braids. I'm just gonna cross these braids over in the back and pin them in place, and then I'm gonna apply extensions. Typically, when I apply a clip-in weft, I'm going to tease first and then apply it. Because this is braided down, we're just clipping right into the braids. And our first hair is in, oh my gosh! Forgot what it was like to have long hair. Hello. This next section is gonna be just about an inch above our last weft. And now I'm going in again with the Tangle Teaser Ultimate Finisher. This has some nice long bristles for smoothing, and then inside it has more condensed bristles that will help with teasing. So, we're gonna use it for teasing first. Just gonna go in and tease anywhere that I want to apply my hair extensions. Here we go, so we just have a little bit of teasing for the clips to grab into, and that way the clip-ins are gonna stay in all night long and you don't have to worry about it. Tee hee. It's gonna smooth a little bit. See, I love these like super long bristles. You can just get right on the very tippy top and you don't get rid of any of the teasing but you take down some of the <laughs> So now, going with our next weft. I am a little shook. I think I've forgotten what it's like to have long hair. Now, if you wanna go ahead and work with the hair length you already have, a really easy thing you can do is just put in a few wefts of hair instead of putting in an entire set of hair extensions. So Anna Laura is gonna do that with her hair, still teasing with the ultimate finishing brush so that we can get those wefts to stay super duper well. 
and then it's gonna help add some more volume, some more vavoom to her everyday style, and it also helps your hair extension sets to last longer because you're not using the whole set every single time. So you know, use up two wefts, and then once those are done, just start using more. Now we have everything clipped in, let's just do a quick little brush through. Detangle everything. You can see we're already able to blend things fairly well, but we wanna get all the curls going the same direction. Now we get to curl the hair. So let's section again. You can also curl the hair as you're putting in the extensions if you want. I just wanted to separate it into two different things so you could see it all and how it comes together. First, let's just go ahead and smooth each section. Now for these waves, I'm gonna take the hair in somewhat larger sections. These are about three drinking straws thick up at the top. And we're basically going to curl the hair as you normally would. So we're wrapping the hair around the curling iron. You can do a wand as well. So we wanna get a nice defined, pretty curl slash wave going. But then I'm gonna take it off, put the end of the hair on the iron, and just stretch it through. And that little pull on the end of the hair and release of the curl at the end is gonna help give us a more refined wave look at the end of this, like so. And then we're not gonna touch the hair until we are done with all of it and it is all cooled. And if you are working with shorter hair and extensions, you wanna make sure you're getting nice and close to that root to do the curl so that all the little short hairs are getting curled in with your new long hairs. The good news is, this is the lowest section of the hair, so you have a little bit of time to practice and get good at it before you start getting to the sections that people can really see. All right, there's that section. Let's let down the next one. And the journey continues with the next section. really enjoying the whole brushing each section before I curl it. This goes on the curling iron better, melds the short and the long hairs together better. It's, it's just the right move, really. Oh my goodness, she's got some curls in. And now we let down the last section. All right, let's brush this through, get it nice and smooth. You know what, while we're here, do a quick little tease. Yeah, just for a little volume, why not? And because these pieces are all little and short and they're gonna end up melting into the extensions. I am not stretching out the end. I'm just curling them like I would curl the top of the long pieces of hair. Cause that's essentially what these are supposed to look like. Everything's curled, now we just wait for it to cool. And while I wait on that, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of the 1-800 Hold Me from IGK. It's a very pretty luminous light hold hairspray. Then I'm grabbing my Tangle Teaser Ultimate Finisher and I'm going to brush through to break up the curls and meld everything together. And now just to finish things off, I'm gonna add in a little bit of the Kristen S Dry Working Texture Spray and then scrunch with a little bit of her depth-defining water-based pomade. And finally, a little bit more of that 1-800 Hold Me Hairspray. And there you go, those are some holiday waves that you can do with or without extensions, but I super love them. And just in case you were wondering what those waves would look like on short hair, here you go. Is it jarring for you guys to see me go from long to short hair? Cause it is for me. <laughs> I feel like I've been two totally different people today. And now let's move on to something with an accessory. Now this year has been the year of accessories. Can we agree? And I've been loving it. And I would be a miss if I did not use them for holiday. So we have a long and a short hair option. Let's start with the short hair. It's really easy. I'm gonna grab my brush. I'm gonna smooth back the hair on my shallow side. You can do this on whatever texture, but you do wanna do it with at least a little bit of a side part. I want mine actually a little bit more side, just a little bit. I'm gonna curl this hair so it goes the correct direction. So we're just gonna do a little smoothing with the brush. Tuck it behind the ear, smooth some more. And I just feel like this is a good placement and an easy placement, basically any hair accessory, but I have one I'm very excited about. Sparkly beaded snap clip, I mean. Just gonna put that behind my ear diagonally. So here, I'll get it nice and smooth and show you guys this option. There's a nice like smooth, sleek version. But now, just because I actually really love to do like sleek and texture, let's back comb a little bit, back comb a little bit more, smooth over any fuzzy areas, then add just a little bit of texturizing spray. And there you go, that is a quick and easy way to play with hair accessories for holiday. If you've already put the curls in, you've done enough work, just add a little accessory and keep it simple. Okay, so for this hairstyle, you're basically just gonna make a low ponytail and then dress it up. So grab your ultimate finisher 
and sleek the hair back into a low ponytail. Spritz it with some hairspray and then sleek it back even more. Then once your hair is in the elastic, if you want, you can wrap some hair around it. I always like to do that because I feel like it's just a little bit more finished. And then once you've done that, we're actually gonna make the ponytail a bit more textured by lightly backcombing through it and hitting it with a bit of texturizing spray. Then you can use an accessory to finish it off. For these little crisscross rhinestone bobby pins, the trick is that you crisscross them before they get into the hair. Then you just have to pin one into place and you've got the crisscross and it's done. It is so much easier that way. We're doing two of those and that hairstyle is complete. And now let's talk about something that you can wear a little bit more up. Half up do for short hair, full up do for long hair. For the short hair, this is a great thing just to like add on. You've already done the curls, but you want a little something easy and more, this is it. Also like second, third day, you're just trying to keep pulling the hair through another holiday party, this is a good thing to do too. So, you take a very large section on one side. I'm just gonna back comb a little bit. To be honest, the back combing is a little bit more optional on this one. Smooth over the top. Same thing on the other side. Now, starting with the shallow side, pick up that hair. I'm gonna bring it to the back, twist it once, and then pin into it to hold it in place. Then I'm just gonna take my thumb and forefinger and loosen up individual pieces a little bit. And then on the other side, we're doing the exact same thing and we're putting the twists together in the back so it looks like the hair kind of cascades into itself, which looks so cool and effortful, but it's very easy. <laughs> So you've seen the half up version, now let's do the updo on this majestic hair. So the first thing you're gonna do is make two ponytails. First you're gonna make one with the bottom half of your hair and that's gonna be kind of tight and like a nice base for the rest of your hairstyle. Then all the other hair comes together into a loose ponytail and you're gonna use your thumb and your forefinger to loosen it up and make it a little bit more voluminous. If your hair kind of lacks volume naturally, you could definitely tease before putting it in the ponytail. And then to finish out the updo, we're gonna create two buns. First, you're going to very loosely twist and wrap one bun around the other ponytail and pin that in place. Then you're gonna take the second ponytail and wrap it in the other direction to create a bun that forms around the outside of the first one. Once everything is pinned in place, you can use your thumb and your forefinger to texturize and voluminize even more if you want. And there's a quick little updo option that you can throw into your holiday party rotation. And that has been it for our party hairstyles on long and short hair. I hope this gave you guys some really great inspo. I had a ton of fun filming it. If you did like it, don't forget to hit the like button because it does help support my channel quite a bit. I also wanna say thank you again to Tangle Teaser for sponsoring this video. This darn brush has changed me <laughs> because I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I feel like hair brushes are all created a little bit equal but I really liked this one because it does get a nice light tease, it smooths out easily, it brushes through curls easily, and it's also designed to help to smooth your cuticle so it adds more shine and I felt that. And it's just good, I just really like it. It's a good all around, all purpose dude. I'm into it. But that is it for today's video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee and Melissa, and all y'all can hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. That's it for today. Whether you're old or you're new or you're a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Look at this. Tiny hair, long hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alrighty, also your ponytail looks bodacious. Whoa. <gasps> These curls, man. Mm -hmm. It's that easy. It's that easy. All right.